If truly free, be stopped never through all that's happening. It's been so long since this thing released, it feels like. It's actually kind of crazy. I remember getting this system, um, I think it was in 2013 for my birthday, and the amount of time I put into this thing was actually crazy. Um, a lot of people really hated this system when it came out. And it kind of sucks. And I understand why the system failed in hindsight. But I want to take a pretty just good look at, you know, why why did this system fail? Like, why? Like, what, what was going on? Like, why people didn't get this and stuff? So I'm just going to, you know, go over this and talk about it because I think the Wii U is honestly one of the best systems I've ever played on and I'm not even joking so let's get into that within the first um, couple minutes of you booting up the system after you set up everything you're greeted with just such an amazing UI menu and the music and jingles to the menu are just unrivaled in my opinion. It it just gave this system a type of feel that you didn't really get with anything else Nintendo has made. And as you can see on the screen, when Miiverse was still up, other Miis would be um, talking about the games they were underneath of which gave everything a sense of like community almost and it just it made it really special for everyone who had a wii u and it connected everyone and then you have the wii u gamepad displaying your applications and um whatever you have down here um it, it just, seeing the gamepad and then seeing the tv at the same time and them doing different things was kind of it was just cool in my opinion like when i was young i was just found it really interesting and i also really liked how the wii u could also be a tv remote i don't know if you guys remember there was a tv button where the wii u gamepad would become a remote for the tv which i was just like that's actually crazy because like the amount of times i've lost i actually lost the remote and i had to use that feature and it saved me I'll never forget that. That that was just that was just crazy to me. Um, but I want to talk about the other applications real quick. But then we'll get into the meat of the video, and that's you know the games for the system and everything good about it. Now, when it comes to the games for the system, there's some of my favorite games of all time around the system, and I don't think it's biased. It's just like they never brought them over or. They're just not the same on uh, other systems. Um, there are some pretty good ones, but there's also some pretty interesting ones. The third-party games on this thing were very... Eh. The one I remember the most was The Letter. It was some dumb horror game. It almost reminded me of Slenderman in a way, but I remember playing that an odd amount of time. Um, Fatal Frame 2, I... It, that's not third party but it's it was one of those like weird ones that like i don't know much, i don't remember much about but i know i played it but when it comes to the games i do remember and the ones i played the most i think i put the most time into the original splatoon and i still think the first splatoon is the best splatoon you have the amazing story i think the weapons gameplay and mechanics of that game are just you can't 
it's just crazy. It's just, you can't beat it, in my opinion. Then you have, like, Super Mario 3D uh, World. That one was pretty good. I liked that. New Super Mario Wii U, I liked, but Luigi U was perfect, and I loved Luigi U. I loved the year of Luigi, and I feel like I was the only one. Um, then we got Mario Maker, which I put so much time into. Oh my goodness. And obviously Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 is the first game I ever got DLC for ever in my life, so that holds a special place in my heart. Um, let's see, what else did I play? Oh, The Legend of Zelda. I, never, I played Breath of the Wild on the Switch because I got a Switch day one, but... I played um, a lot of Wind Waker HD, and I also played a little bit of Twilight HD. I never beat the HD version, but I did have the Wii version of Twilight, and I beat that on the system before HD came out and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's there's definitely more games, but those are, like, the biggest ones, you know. Oh, can't forget, can't forget uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. That was amazing. Can't forget that one. And a few more honorable mentions. There, were Yoshi's Woolly Wool, Wool, World. Holy crap, was really good. Um, Nintendo Land is my favorite party game of all time that has ever released, and it is criminal. They haven't done anything like that on the Switch. I rest my case. We also have Hyrule Warriors, which I thought was fun. Don't play it on the new Nintendo 3DS. If you are going to play it, the Switch version is definitely the best way to play it, but when you first get that game on the Wii U, and that's the best version at the time, that game was very great, in my opinion. There's also um, Captain Toad. I didn't play a lot, but I had that. I played it a little bit. Star Fox. Um, Epic Mickey 2 was really good. Um, let's see. Oh, Zombie U. I don't know if you guys remember that, but whew, that was a game. And when they, you know, they really wanted that game to flourish and it was pretty good, but it just it wasn't good enough, Nintendo. I I don't know what else to tell you. We had a, a lot of Assassin's Creed, a lot of um Ubisoft stuff on this system. Um we also had Call of Duties, which is actually kind of crazy in my opinion, like that we had a Call of Duty on a Nintendo console and I'm it's weird we didn't get any on the switch I feel like the switch would have been awesome for older call of duties but whatever I'm not gonna get too far into that but yeah those are like some of the games you know the ones I played a lot you know the the ones I feel like everyone played a lot and I I don't think the Wii U failed because of the games I really don't the games were honestly amazing and I still play these games to this day and I I don't see why um it, it it wasn't the games that's my that's my case it the games had nothing to do with why the wii u failed the way it did and let me get into why it failed quick the wii u's commercials let's wii just say with wii u we can play super mario 3d a lot of them were find secrets really with the wii u game pad and do we mention togetherness um, just check out the simulation a lot of them are just like Ooh. i look good look reasons that. we need yeah, the wii u like i've been upgraded it's get cool. to get the upgrade to wii u for 299.99 okay for why like, if i win why is it cool for like no one prepared to be embarrassed and they yeah. always make I kids do it they always wow, make kids do these shot. like trailers uh, and commercials okay. and it's like nope okay i get that nintendo is mainly for children but there's Call of Duty on the system, <laughs> and other oh, games that are definitely get more for, like, hey, only even teenagers you plus. and, like, adults, you know, Yoshi's World, like, brand new Skylanders, Yoshi. I feel like it's more of a teen Fling game, Yoshi. Tiger Boss um, and Spring Yoshi. was this house presented, Boom Monster Yoshi. Hunters on the system, too, I mean, underground Yoshi. Jump Yoshi, I just, Yoshi. Tap into yarn Yoshi amiibo. the commercials, Woshi. I feel it's like, are what killed this thing, and they failed to present this as a new system at first, everyone thought this was, like, an accessory for the Wii. I mean, you can't, you can't blame no, the people for that. I mean, so check under your even on the Wii, Wii there was Club. the, um, With Wii Sports Club, we can literally, play I think it was called online against other the because You these guys Draw Pad, think they're better than us. and yeah. I'll, I'll put what a picture up on the screen. Get the gift of family you guys don't remember what the U Draw This, this is the U Draw Pad. Now, when I was little, and I did you. I did have the U Draw Pad. I feel like a lot of people didn't, and I don't know if a lot of people even remember this thing existed. But when I saw the Wii U, I literally thought, "Oh, it's a better 
version of the pad for the draw game that I have. Um, yeah, Nintendo, I... All you had to do in the, like, in the, in the first reveal of this system, um, put a tagline, you know, the Wii just got better, introducing the new Wii U. That makes it sound at least like the Wii 2, like it's the second Wii, it's, it's the next evolution of the Wii, it's like the 3DS to the DS, or the Game Boy Advance to the Game Boy. It's like, it's the same name, but you have a word or you have, you have something to explain. It's a new console and it's better than the previous. Now, as a consumer, a lot of older people and parents, I guess, don't understand. I mean, if I was the age I am now and I like heard about the Wii U, I would know it's a new console, but I don't understand why so many people got confused by it, to be honest. But they could just, you know, say, hey, there's this new Wii. It's the Wii U. It's the next generation of Wii. It's the newest one. That would get people to, like, want to buy it more, especially parents, you know, because they're probably like, you you want another Wii? We, We already have a Wii at home. Why would you want a Wii, another Wii? I feel like a lot of parents were like that, you know, and it's like... I'm just glad my parents weren't, and they actually understood what it was, so. Overall, I think that the Wii U was just a misunderstood concept, but when it released, and it is so unfortunate, because I really think this console is great, and I hate when things that Nintendo do really great fail, because people are ignorant, I feel like we're not going to get a lot of the things that made the Wii U special or a lot of the games that made the Wii U special for a long time because it didn't sell well. It, it's really upsetting to me, and it's just... I just feel like if they just did a little better at showing what this thing was, it would have sold so much more. I mean, I think it sold a total of 5 million, which, you know, 5 million consoles... But the Wii sold over a hundred. So, yeah, I feel like if they, you know, advertised it just a little bit better and made the commercials just a little bit better, um, it could have easily sold 30, 40, even 50 million easily if they just did better at showing what the hell it was. It makes me mad, but I'm just glad I grew up with with the Wii U and 3DS in their prime and it honestly was a time you had to be there for and I don't think anything else is going to top that feeling of the Wii U's connectiveness with other people um I'll do a quick thing on Miiverse and then we'll wrap up this video I think Miiverse was a big reason why I love this system so much some of the things uh people said on here were it's just crazy i don't want to get too far into it but if you don't want to look up like a compilation of crazy movers posts there's plenty on youtube um you can find them trust me um i remember just communicating with a lot of people on movers and it made me feel a lot more special to the game especially like games like splatoon smash bros uh wind waker and 3d world where people can put their movers posts in game to either help or troll people i always loved that and I don't think we're ever going to get that kind of feeling again with, like, a like a Nintendo console. Overall, I think the Wii U is one of the best consoles I've ever played on. And if you play it on them, you understand. Um, it just really sucks. This thing didn't get the recognition it deserved. And, gosh, just makes me think about it, you know. But anyway, that was the video. Sorry it's been so long on videos. I've been having pretty busy things going on. But this is my 100th video. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> We're at 50 subs. And I, I want to try to, you know, get to 100 subs by the end of the year. I feel like that'd be really cool. If we do get 100 subs, I don't know what I'm going to do for it. But I want to do something special. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to do a, a, a playthrough of Little Nightmares 3 with my brother um when that comes out 
so that's planned for the channel. Um, I'm probably going to do a few more um, console videos, maybe, if you guys like this one. Um, just let me know. Like, I don't know what, like, some of my videos do really great, some of them don't. It's hard to tell what people like on YouTube, so. Um, I can tell people like the Pokemon, though. I'm going to do more Pokemon. I just don't know what yet. I'm brainstorming some ideas, but uh, anyway. 100th video. Uh, 2024 is going pretty strong so far, and pretty happy with how things are going so yeah let me know how you guys like the video and i'll see you all later all right peace